Lesson five of the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson five. The use of final no. In order to understand the meaning of a sentence, it is necessary to be able to recognize clearly and unmistakably what it is that is spoken about, that is, what the subject of the sentence is. In English, this is often to be recognized only by its position in the sentence. For instance, the three words visited, John, George, can be arranged to mean two entirely different things, either John visited George, or George visited John. In teaching Esperanto to children, it is well to make sure before going further that they thoroughly understand what the subject is. The subject is that which we think or speak about. The word which stands for it is the subject of the sentence. The children may be required to underline the subject of each sentence in a suitable piece of prose or verse. In Esperanto, the sense does not depend on the arrangement. Johanno visitis Georgon, and Georgon visitis Johanno mean exactly the same thing, that John visited George. The N at the end of Georgon, showing that Georgon is not the subject. There is no want of clearness about the following Esperanto sentences absurd as they are in English. La patron mordis la hundo. The father bit the dog, meaning the dog bit the father. La infanon gratis la cato. The child scratched the cat, meaning the cat scratched the child. La birdoin Pafis Johano. The birds shot John, meaning John shot the birds. La musoin captis la knabo. The mice caught the boy, meaning the boy caught the mice. La coquidon mangis la onclo. The chicken ate the uncle, meaning the uncle ate the chicken. La bildon pentris la pentristo. The picture painted the painter, meaning the painter painted the picture. La fishoin vendis la fishisto. The fish sold the fisherman, meaning the fisherman sold the fish. In these sentences, the subjects are at once seen to be hundo. Cato, Johano, Knabo, Onclo, Pentristo, Fishisto. For the final N in Patron, Infanon, Birdoin, Musoin, Coquidon, Bildon, Fishoin, distinguishes these words from the subject. The use of N renders clear sentences that are not clear in English. John loves Mary more than George may mean more than John loves George or more than George loves Mary. In Esperanto it is quite clear. Johanno amas Marion pli ol Georgo means more than George loves Mary because Georgo is the subject of the second elliptical sentence, but Johanno amas Marion pliol Georgon 
means more than John loves George, because the final N in Georgon shows this to be not the subject. There are cases, however, in which it is not necessary to add N, the noun or pronoun being distinguished from the subject in another way. Examples are found in the first exercise. Sur la terra kushas stono. On the ground lies a stone. Antau la pordo staras arbo. Before the door stands a tree. Notwithstanding their position, ground and door are seen to be not the subject, because before them are the words on, before, which connect them with the rest of the sentence. It is on the ground, before the door, so with other sentences. The words on, before, and others given in Lesson 26 are called prepositions. Pre equals before. The noun or pronoun which follows them can never be the subject of the sentence. Remember then that N is added to every noun and pronoun other than the subject unless it has a preposition before it. The explanation usually given for the use of final N is that N is added to nouns and pronouns A in the accusative case, the direct object, B when the preposition is omitted. The explanation given above seems to me, however, to be much simpler. Another use of final N is given later. Lesson 12, Lesson 26 when the noun takes n, any adjective which belongs to it must also take n, as li donas al mi belan rujan floron. He gives me a beautiful red flower. Li donas al mi belan rujan floron. He gives me beautiful red flowers. Vocabulary Letero Letter Letero Litero Letter of Alphabet Litero Festo Festival Holiday Festo Tago Day Tago Nocto Night, nocto. Mateno, morning, mateno. Multai, many, multai. Obstina, obstinate, obstina. Joya, joyful, joyous, joya. Hela, bright, clear, hela. Amas, loves, amas. Vidas, sees, vidas. Gonas, knows, gonas. Havas, has, possesses, havas. Luno, moon, luno. Stelo, star, stelo. Vintro, winter, vintro. Forno, stove, forno. Edzino, wife, edzino. Pala, pale, pala. Desiras, desires, wishes, desiras. Erraras, 
errs is wrong erraras vocas calls vocas hatas heats hatas hodiao today hodiao malpli less malpli kiam when kiam kia what kind kia mi vidas leonon mi vidas leonoin mi legas libron mi legas libroin mi amas la patron mi conas johanon la patro ne legas libron sed li scribas leteron mi ne amas obstinain homoin mi desiras al vi bonan tagon signoro bonan matenon joyan feston mi desiras al vi kia joya festo estas hodiau en la tago ni vidas la helan sunon kai en la nocto ni vidas la palan lunon kai la belain steloin ni havas pli freshan panon ol vi ne vi errara signoro via pano estas malpli fresha ol mia ni vocas la knabon kai li venos en la vintro oni hetas la fornoin kiam oni estas riĉa oni havas multajn amikojn li amas min sed mi lin ne amas signoro po kaj lia edzino tre amas miajn infanojn mi ankaŭ tre amas iliajn infanojn mi ne konas la signoron kiu legas key to exercise i see a lion i see lions i am reading a book or i read a book i am reading books or i read books i love the father i know john the father is not reading a book but he is writing a letter i do not like obstinate people i wish you good day sir good morning a joyous festival a pleasant holiday i wish you what a joyful festival it is today in the day we see the bright sun and at night we see the pale moon and the beautiful stars we have newer bread than you no you are wrong sir your bread is less new than mine we call the boy and he comes in the winter they heat the stoves when one is rich one has many friends he loves me but i do not love him mr p and his wife love my children very much i also love theirs very much i do not know the gentleman who is reading end of lesson 5